my darlings. In this video, I want to cover how to import your images properly. So first of all, we want to make sure that we are in our own Lightroom catalog. Double click the drive. I'm going to look for Lightroom catalogs. And see, I've put this little red dot there to remind me. And then click again. There's my red dot. You're going to look for your last name, underscore photo50.lrcat. Double click that. This way we ensure that we are in our catalogs and not using the default catalog on the computer. All right, so let's import some images. So I'm going to take my card, stick my card in the card reader. And depending on how your machine is set up, you may see this. Gotta love Apple sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. So I have some images here. And sometimes the images will automatically show up and sometimes you have to go hunt them down. I want to show you if you have to hunt them down, you're going to want to find your images through this and not down here. So the very top, there's very tiny double arrows, double click on that and find, let's just say that we have to go to another source. You're going to get a finder window and you're going to look for your images here. Click your card and then click choose. You want to see your card up here at the left. You can kind of think of importing as a left to right to bottom process. Then in the middle here, you want to copy. Then on the right hand side, this is where things get a little tricky. What we need to do is see your name and your images folder here. So in the other video, we had you name the image folder, image 2017. I do that because I want it to be a little bit easier for us to locate the folder that is on our hard drive. So we want to make sure those images get removed from the card properly and also properly put on your external hard drive. So you can work on them at home or in the lab and they never get left on the computer that you're working on. I'm going to click on these tiny double arrows, go to other destination, a finder window is going to open up. This is very important. We have to have our drives and then we're going to be looking for that images 2017. Depending on what you named it, that is where you want your images to go. Then you click choose. Ah, beautiful. So what we're looking for is your name of your drive and then the folder that all of these images are going into. Check don't import suspected duplicates. Apply during import. If I've set up a black and white preset for myself, I would see that right here and I have done so. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. There also is another video about setting up your black and white preset. The last part is destination and this is also where things get a little tricky. I recommend check into one subfolder. Maybe your first assignment name would be what you would want to name it. The first assignment for my class is camera setting. You can name it anything you want. Just make sure it's meaningful in your idea of organization. Organization is really key when it comes to digital imagery. The next part is very crucial as well. We always want to make sure that our images are going in the same place every single time in our hard drive. Once again, we want it to say images 2017 up here. We want this to say 2017 as well. And you can see underneath that, Lightroom has made a folder for me called camera setting assignments, which matches this. It is a little counterintuitive the way that's set up, but once you get the hang of it, Lightroom is really kind of a dream to use. We just have to get over this little bit of a learning curve at the beginning. So let's review. We want our images to go into one subfolder, and this is the name of the subfolder. Organize, not by date, but into one folder. We want to make sure that we're in our hard drive and that folder name matches what is here. If those two things don't match, then more than likely you are not going into your hard drive. So make sure those two things match and this is highlighted white. Once you have those things sorted out, then you can go ahead and click import and Lightroom will begin importing and you will see the progress bar up the left hand side and your images will come in. What happens after you've imported your images? Lightroom ejects your media card right afterwards. So you can then go ahead and pull the card out and put that card back into your camera. I highly recommend you removing your card immediately so you don't leave it behind. All right, well that is importing images into Lightroom. Take care. Mm -hmm.